Hello friends, I am Manak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our video tutorial series on G plus one building detailing using Tecla structures. So friends, in the previous video, we had done the detailing of our footings. So if you haven't watched those videos, please go and watch them. In this video, we'll see how to reinforce our columns. So let's get started. So first of all, I'll go to my windows and then open my plan at plinth level that is plan at the rate base. I select this and then OK. After that, I'll go back to windows and then press tile vertically. We'll use tile vertically here. So for now, we'll check whether my sizes of my columns are as per my structural drawings or not. So going back to our structural drawings. We know that we have two types of columns that is C1 and C2. C1 has size of 230 into 230 and C2 has size of 300 into 230. So in the foundation layout, we can see that for the footing of size F1, all the mark of the columns are C1 and the remaining columns are C2. So we'll go to our plan and check the dimensions. We can simply click on this. And then view the properties here. See, it is 230 into 230. Similarly, I'll go and check the properties of all the other columns. This column has a property of 230 into 230. Now, this one has size of 230 into 230. So, let us check this. The size of it is 230 into 300, that is C2. So, it is okay. Similarly, I'll check the sizes of all the other columns. If by any case this window doesn't pop up, you can right click on it and then go to properties. After that, you can check the properties here. Okay, so all the columns are as per my structural drawings. So now I need to insert the reinforcements as per my drawings. So before that, we can see that the columns are of separate units. We need to combine them. For that, we'll go to our edit option and then go to combine. So after going to combine, I'm going to select this and I'll press control and select this and this. So these have become two units. Again, I'll select this. Sorry, I have an error. I'll press control Z. Again, I'll go to combine and then I'll select this and then select this. So this column has become a single unit. So I'll just go to my views and then navigate, rotate with mouse. So I'll rotate it so that I can choose properly. Again, I'll go to my edit option and then go to combine. Now I'll combine, select this control this and again control this. This has become a single unit. Similarly, I'll make all the columns a single unit. So we'll click our app here and then search column C O L U M N column reinforcement. So I'll select this one. And here it is asking me to fill the details. So for longitudinal rebar, we can go and select this. We have rebar one of size. I'll select here 12 mm main bar apply. Okay. And then here also 12 mm main bar apply. Okay. And then I'll change the grade to FE 500 because we'll be using steel of grade FE 500. I want to give a cover of 40 mm. So we'll just insert here 4040 and clear distance also this 25. It is okay. Now I have four bars of size 12 mm and FE 500. So I'm okay with that. And then I'll go to ties. So this type of ties I don't require actually. So we'll go to our app here and then 
type column reinforcement. We'll select this one and here we'll fill the options as per our structural drawings. So we'll go back to our structural drawing and see for C1 they have reinforcement of 412, 4 numbers of 12T. So we'll quickly go here and then go to a longitudinal rebar and then change its size to 12. We'll select 12, main bar, apply, OK. And here also 12, main bar, apply, OK. This will also have size of 12 mm and 12 mm. So we have four bars of sizes 12 mm and the grade will give the grade of FE 500 because we will use FE 500 steel here. You can check our structural drawings. It is mentioned here that it is mentioned here that the grade of concrete is M20 and grade of steel is FE 500. So we'll do that as per our structural drawings. Now we have changed this to FE 500. Here also we'll copy this and paste here FE 500. So we are using four bars of size 12 mm of grade FE 500. We'll give a cover of 40 mm. So we have done this. Now we'll click on apply and modify. After that we'll go to our primary ties. So we want to give a tie of size. You can see that 8 mm at the rate 175 center to center. So we have tie of size 8 mm and gray here. You can change this to FE 500 and hook type. As per IS code IS 456, we should give hook type of 135 degrees. So it is 135. And now we can change this. So you can see this there. The spacing at the beginning we have 75 mm and for default we'll give 175 mm. So this spacing we can give as 175. So we have done this. Now we'll go to our secondary reinforcement here. Here also we'll change the longitudinal bar size. We'll go to longitudinal bar size 12 mm main bar apply OK. Here tie size will be 8 mm tie or stirrup apply OK. Here minimum clear cover will keep as 40 mm and hook type will keep as 135 degrees. Longitudinal grade will give both the grade of steel as FE 500. So we have done that. Now we have given a spacing this. Spacing number 1 is 125. So we had given here for primary ties 75. So for here also we will give 75 here and 175 here. Here also we will give 175 and for here also in primary ties we will go and put it here 175. So we are done here, we'll just click on apply, modify, ok. So after that we can insert our reinforcements in our columns. You can select this. So it will take some time. Now we can see that our columns have been reinforced. So it is, let us check whether it is continuous or not. So as you can see the reinforcements have been done. So at the ends only, the spacing is less and the remaining spacing is 175 mm as we had decided. We can also change that as per our structural drawings. So now we can do the reinforcing of all the columns of sizes C1 that is these three columns. So I'll simply click on this, this. Now I need to change the properties before applying the reinforcements to other columns. So I'll go again here double click on it and then we can change the properties. We'll go back to our structural drawings and see that the transverse reinforcements are same that is 8 mm at rate 175 center to center but the longitudinal reinforcements is of 16 mm. So we'll go back to our model and go back to our longitudinal rebar and then change it to 16. 
the grade will be the same and in the ties also secondary reinforcement will change it to 16 so we'll just click on apply modify and ok now we can apply this reinforcement to all other columns So I have applied this reinforcement to other columns. Now I'll right click and press interrupt. I'll go and check its properties. You can see at the longitudinal rebar, we have sizes of 16. And for column C1, you can go and click on the reinforcements. And here we can check our longitudinal rebar. We have rebar size of 12 mm. So all the rebars have been applied properly. We'll just close this. So now the reinforcement detailing of our columns have been completed as you can see. So friends that's all for today. In the next video we'll continue reinforcing our structural members. Bye.